Greetings everyone, Paula of Paula Punza Nails here. And today I want to give you my first impressions on the Red Iwana Practice Hand. I'm gonna give you a few pros and I also want to give you just a couple cons on it. Okay, so let's get started. So I bought my Ready One on Practice Hand about two to three months ago. And it was when I was kind of venturing into the world of press on tips, which I have some here. So your Ready One on Practice Hand comes in with tips for your hand. Comes with a silicone hand there. And it also comes with some instructions and it's more than instructions, they're really like attention, do's and don'ts with this hand. It is a delicate hand, not in the sense that you can easily break it, but you definitely don't want to abuse it. My Ready Wanna Practice hand cost me about, I think, $100 and a little bit of shipping, and it was a great deal comparing it to some other practice hands, or at least one other that I've seen from a, another nail technician that was about either I think my options were $300 or $500. And usually the price difference um, is in regards to whether you want a thumb, like a full hand, or if you want just the four fingers. All right, so my first impression when I got the hand was, wow, this literally looks freaky, right? It's like a real friggin' hand. Um, I like that the fingers were nice and long, right? Um, Again, for my purpose of using it as sh uh, a model to showcase my work on, I thought this was great. Uh, looks pretty real and I thought I could put my press-ons and they would demo well. Um, let's go over these actually press-ons that Ready Wanna here provided. So the index finger is a seven. The middle finger and the ring finger are both a six. And then again, you can just kind of glide these in there. There's like almost like a little slot there you can put them through, right? And I did like, my first impression of this was that I did like how nice and flush they slipped on. So that was definitely a plus. I thought this would be perfect for what I needed it, right? So these are long coughing nails, size seven on the pointer, six on the middle, and six on the ring, and nine on the pinky there, okay? So most nail tips, that's a standard size, so you could use those numbers to fit them into your practice hand. And even when I used the number a little larger, a little uh, narrower, they still seem to fit. So don't be too concerned that you are only going to use seven, six, and nines on your practice hand. Now, if you did have one with a thumb, then the number for that would be a one, okay? So we don't need our one because we don't have a thumb. Now, there was also uh, some instructions here, or again, some attention, right? Attention, some do's and don'ts with the hand. The hand is ready for beginners, uh, schools that need models, and technicians who want to play with materials in free time. Personally, I would not use this hand as a beginner. The reason why is because I remember making my first hand purchase and it was about 100, 125. It was the long guy that stuck onto the table with the uh, plastic joints. Um, and then again, you can replace the tips, but you, you had the ability to buy more tips. And this, I mean, this too, obviously you can buy like a case of tips, but here, because this hand is so live, it's a live cast, really, of, a, of I believe, April Ryan's hand. Um, you kind of want to be very gentle and the silicone can get damaged with your abrasives and all of that. So I would keep that in mind if you are a beginner and you want to use it. This might be a little bit, a bit too delicate for you to really rough, roughen up, okay? But again, if you don't mind buying another one or don't mind uh, destroying its appearance, right? If you're not going to use it for showcasing, showcasing your work, then that's fine. Uh, personally, I'm going to treat it like gold. <laughs> All right, so beginners, schools, great for schools, and again, technicians who want to play with materials in free time. Personally, I like to play with my materials on those um, individual or 
the little thing where you put your nail tips on a nail tip holder so that I can go ahead and practice my designs I don't really find that when I'm doing nail art I need to have skin around right but however if I am doing like a video or a tutorial right and I do need that cuticle area in that those lateral sidewalls right to kind of keep me and guide me to, through my steps then yes this is definitely a good option one thing that you can do with this hand is go ahead and kind of bend the fingers like joints so even if i was using this hand as a model for a video i can go ahead and place my hand there and i can go ahead and bend my finger hold it as if it was a real hand and go ahead and do and demo what i need to do so that's a great plus um with that said as part of the attention comments you do not want to bend the joints too much right up and down up and down because there is a wire through each finger and if you do bend these fingers a lot it says here that these wires can break so again if you're a beginner keep that in mind that you might be a little too rough in the beginning to use something of such high quality right to practice on so something to keep in mind okay so you can move the fingers you could actually glue nail tips on there soak them off or buff them off and all of that but again you're going to sacrifice on the integrity of your hand so unless you don't mind buying another one then knock yourself out right personally i bought this hand so i can showcase my work and also demo right videos and tutorials and all of that and actually have like a real model of it right um, so those are some pros you can you can use it for that demoing with a real hand and it doesn't have to be yours right so us as nail technicians often have our nails done and we don't always want to rip them off and put ones on there and you know do nail art or I don't like to walk around with messed up nails or eight different nail designs or two nails doing something different than the other eight no that's confusion to me so they do have some uh, notes here about what you can and can do as far as gluing, filing, and all of that. Uh, you can glue the nails on there. Uh, you'll need to soak it off. It, don't rip anything off. Mm, you can... Yeah, just be really careful not to get any glue all the way in there. Because, again, there is like a groove in there. And that might not that might inhibit your tip from going in there. It says here that you can use any acrylic tips. I would keep that in mind, okay? Because personally, I use two brands of oval tips. And with those two brands, neither one of my oval tips work. I tried it with my long stilettos, with my long coffin, with my short coffin, with my squares, with my rounds. And it all fit, except for the uh, ovals. So something to consider. Um, and one thing that's kind of annoying is that you could kind of get fussies and glitters and things stuck on your hand here that if you are taking pictures, right, unless you know like Photoshop or editing or you have those applications to help you blur or delete, right, certain, um, uh, you know, fussies and, and imperfections in your hand, then, then you can do that, right? But Personally, for me, it, it bothers me to see like fur and glitters and dust and things that you just don't want on a natural, on a normal hand to be stuck onto my natural hand. So that's, this silicone does catch, catch things. It's like a rubber. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, other than that, there really isn't any cons to it. If you use it for the purpose that you want to use it. Again, if you're going to use it for just showcasing, modeling, and, um, demoing on it's perfect right i wouldn't use it as a practice hand personally just my 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 opinion it's just it's just such a precious little invention here right like you don't really want to ruin it and you could it's not like when you have that practice hand you can go through tips and you can replace them you can even replace the joints i think i remember if you mess up this hand you're going to have to replace the whole hand okay or you're going to end up with maybe just three workable fingers if you mess up one. So keep that in mind. One thing that I uh, didn't quite like, and I guess it's not a big deal if you're into the editing and all of that, is that some of the skin, right, skin or cuticle area, it's a little jagged. So you will have to 
um, maybe nip it a little bit, kind of clean it up a bit so that it's nice and, and, and clean, right? That was like my only con about this, but other than that, it's it models and it showcases like a real hand. Briefly and quickly rather, I will show you how to put in these oval tips and how they just what they do when I fit them on here. Again, maybe I'm doing them wrong or maybe there is a brown out there that works. For me, this these short to medium oval nails just did not flush um fleshly fit on there right like they kind of concave up they pop up they're not like all of the other ones where they fit nice and smooth so keep that in mind I, if i show you here you'll see kind of how some of them pop up more than others so that's a con um when making up your mind of whether this is something for you or not but other than that i really really liked it for the purpose that i bought it for right demoing videos and showcasing my nail tip work here so for example i have a seven right that's like a short coffin if it's really really nice that's a five and this is a six right look at that that fits really nice another six in there and even watch i'll show you i believe my five even fits here so you don't have to see my five kind of fits there too or i can switch it around put my five in there and my six and then put in my nine right so yeah there you go and then i can go ahead and model this right I could take it out there to the porch or behind a nice rock or behind a nice white background and just bent the joints wherever i want them and go ahead and photograph my work so for me for my purpose it worked excellent so there you go your pros and your cons and really my first impression on this hand so it's really cool and um just think about what you're going to be using it for mainly that's it if you like my video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment with any questions or suggestion and don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you on our next video thank you